So recently searching through the internet, I decided to have a look at Funko.com to see what kind of new stuff is going to be coming out in 2020. And yeah, they've announced their ECC 2020 shirt retailer exclusives of what you're going to get at the ECC 2020 show pretty soon. So yeah, let's have a quick we look at each of the uh, pops. That you're going to get, we'll have a quick wee description on, and I'll give you a quick um, introduction to them, where they're going to be sold, and the UK alternative, UK slash EU alternatives. So yeah, let's get into it. So as you can see off the side here, I have decided to put up a picture of all the exclusives that they are going to have at the show all these shirt exclusives and where they're going to be but we'll go into them individually and we'll have a look at each of them so we're going to start off with amazon amazon are recently coming in with a bunch of good uh in my opinion good exclusive pops and they are not letting down in ECT 2020. They have some pretty, pretty decent pops. For Amazon, they're going to have two decent pops. And um, they're going to be more kind of oriented towards the younger generation. Uh, you're going to have one which is looks very, very interesting. The other three, uh, the other one is a free pack. So a single pack. Uh, which is a flocked, and uh, then we're going to have a triple pack, which is from Sleeping Beauty, the three witches. So, we'll have a quick look at the um, Pokemon uh, Bulbasaur flocked. So, this is the first exclusive that's going to be coming to ECC, it is a flocked, if you don't know what flocked is, it sends you it's a kind of material that's already outside of the actual pop, to give it a bit more of a realistic feeling. This one is going to be number 453, Bulbasaur. Uh, so, essentially, as you can see here, we do have the lovely Bulbasaur at, uh, should be up around here, <laughs> uh, we do have the lovely Bulbasaur, as you can see there, it is slightly, slightly, kind of, f how can I say, fluffized, so as you can see, there's a lot of detail that's gone into it, especially when it comes to the face, you can see it has a number of, kind of, a uh, engravings in it for the eyebrows and the nose and the face does look pretty pretty good so if you are a pokemon fan uh and you want a flock bubble sword amazon is where it's going to be but essentially if you are going to ecc it's going to be there it's going to be amazon exclusive we also do have as i was saying the triple witches from sleeping beauty so the triple witches are um, I can never remember their names. So that yeah. So their names are uh Funa or F Fauna, if I'm saying that right. Fauna, Flora, and May or Marryweather. So so Fauna is the green um uh, witch or fairy godmother. Is it witch or is it fairy god? I'm assuming it's fairy god mother. So you have Fauna, which is the green fairy god mother. You have Floor, which is the red, and you have Meriwether, which is the blue. So if you are really a fan of the kind of Disney, uh, even though they're not putting this down as Disney, they're putting it down in the category of pop movies. Um, yeah, this will be one to go for. It's going to be exclusive to Amazon, as I said, and it's going to also be exclusive to Emerald City Comic Con, which I believe is coming up very, very soon, sometime in the next month or so. So, that is the Amazon exclusives for the US. We also do have Barnes & Nobles and Books and Millions. So, essentially, um, Barnes & Nobles, 
and Books A Million, so going to have more around the same thing as Amazon. Um, so, starting off with the first one from um, Barnes & Noble, uh, exclusive is going to be Flora Delacour. This is number 108 and it's going to be put under the category of movies. As you can see there it is her in her lovely blue school uniform from the uh, Goblet of Fire movie. As you can see there's a lot of detail that's been put into the face especially on the eyelashes the hair and the whole costume as a whole. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a picture at the back, but it does look like the hair is going either down the back, or is a, or it might be a cape, or a kind of kind of floating thing at the back of her uh, back. But unfortunately, we don't have any pictures at the back, so it does look like it is going to be her based on her school uniform from the Goblet of Fire. We also do have, for you uh, Game of Thrones fans, you do have the free pack Barnes & Noble and Aero Comic Con exclusive of Drogon, Fusarion and Rhaegal. Yes, Daenerys' free baby dragons. Each of them are in pop form now and as you can see, they are basically sitting in their lovely, lovely eggs. You have uh, Drogon, who is sitting in this nice, lovely red egg. You have Fasarian, who is in the yellow. And you have Rhaegal, who is in the green. So, essentially, if you are a fan of Game of Thrones and you want the triple pack of Drogon, Fasarian and Rhaegal, the lovely three dragons that a lot of people had, um, ambitions of getting you can get an Emerald City Comic Con or Barnes & Noble that will be coming out pretty soon as well so the category they're putting that under is going to be television and yeah I believe that's the number yeah I don't say what number it is but I'm assuming it's going to be a ex number somewhere in the somewhere in a couple of hundreds uh, whether it's going to be a, a, a limited kind of edition one to it it's kind of hard to say um yeah so a pack of the nice lovely dragons from game of thrones so essentially we we'll move on uh box lunch is only getting one exclusive this time and it is a simpsons one uh this one is millhouse as you can see he has dropped his ice cream but uh, if you take a look at the actual picture itself of the box, it does look like he has took some kind of substance, which I may not be allowed to say on YouTube, but his eyes do seem very, very dilated. Um, I don't remember them being that big in the actual uh, show, but it does look like he has took something. <laughs> so it's, um, of course he is depressed because he's dropped his ice cream there. You can see a whole bunch of detail has been put in onto the actual ice cream, including the ice cream going onto the shoe. Um, but these are all concept arts as well. Uh, you can see his iconic blue hair and moustache. Oh, sorry, not moustache. Eyebrows. <laughs> Where did I get moustache from? And his glasses. So this is just a concept art at the minute. But I'm assuming this is going to be coming out soon. So rather than putting it under television. Uh, uh, even though it does say pop television. Or I believe the category they're putting on it is going to be animation. So pop television slash animation from the Simpsons. And this is the only one that's going to be exclusive to Box, box Lunch. So. That is a number of stuff from America. Entertainment Earth don't have any exclusive this time uh, that I can see. Oh, they, no, they do have one, but I'm finding it very, very hard to get an actual picture of it. But it is, it does look like the actual fire believing ant. If I do have it, it'll, have, it'll be up around here. It looks like the fire breathing bug from Starship Troopers. So was, uh, this one is going to be a 6 inch super sized pop. So if I have the picture there you should be able to see that there is a bunch of detail that has been put into the actual body. 
and you can see the fire coming out of the mouth. So it's Entertainment Earth exclusive. I can't. I I don't really have much of a picture for it myself, um, because they haven't really provided much of a picture. But if I do have it, it'll be up around there. Um, I'll also have a link down below to the blog page where you can check it out for yourself. So. The Funko Store. The Funko Store do have a whole bunch of stuff coming out. And as you can see, essentially they have all, in my opinion, they have most of the best stuff. So it's in my opinion. So, we'll start off with the first one which is on the list here. It is Toad from the X-Men. You can see a lot of detail has been put into the actual face and the tongue. The costume does remind me of the kind of comic book um, appearance of him rather than the you know, kind of movie scene. Uh, they've been put under the category of X-Men and Heroes. And this one is exclusive to the Funko Shop. We do also have another. This one is Great Go uh, Gazoo. So this one is... If you've ever seen the Flintstones, this is the imaginary green alien. Would you say imaginary green alien? The green alien from the Flintstones. So the Great Gazoo, as you can see, there's there's a bunch of details been put into his finger, where essentially um, every time someone makes a wish, he clicks his fingers. I can't really click, but there we go. He clicks his fingers and essentially wish done. So, this one is a glow-in-the-dark, so I'm assuming the glow-in-the-dark is probably going to be on the actual click on the finger. So, was, uh, but if it does, if it does glow up, it might actually be the body that glows up. So, was, uh, it's kind of hard to tell what it is because there hasn't been a lot of detail onto it. But it does say it is a glow-in-the-dark, and that one is going to be exclusive to the Funko Shop and to uh, Emerald City Comic Con. So, Speed Racer. I haven't really got much of a picture in regards to that, apart from the actual box. But speed, uh, they are just saying to bring out Speed Racer. Uh, if you remember what Speed Racer is, Speed Racer was a... I believe it was a comic book. So it was, um, I'll have to have a quick look in the background here. So Speed Racer... I'm trying to remember who Speed Racer was. I think I may be in a comic book. So it's, um, yeah, I believe that is a comic book graph. If I am wrong, you could always pop down below and tell me that I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, they are deciding to re-bring out uh, Speed Racer. If you do click on that, it will take you through the 2015 faulted original Speed Racer. But this is a new Speed Racer that's coming out. There's a bunch of details been put into his, his uh, costume. You can see that uh, uh, even when I assume it doesn't do anything. Yeah, a bunch of detail has been put into his costume. You can see he has his iconic M on his helmet. And yeah, there's not much uh, extra detail I can put into it. So, moving on to the next one. Yep, there is a lot coming from the Funko Shop exclusive on this. This one is... Harry the Husky. So, a number of stuff in regards to this one. Uh, they're putting it under college mascots. So, Harry, uh, I don't know who Harry the Husky is representing. Um, I'm assuming uh, University Tacoma. University of Washington Tacoma. So, I've never, I'm not really good when it comes to the um, college mascots but this one is the University of Washington um, Tacoma uh, Harry the Husky this one is a flocked and they've put, they've put it under pop college there's not a lot of pop colleges uh, this is number three in the pop colleges but they've also put it under the category of sports as well because essentially it's a sports mascot so, if you're into your mascots, this is definitely one to go for. It's going to be exclusive to the Funko Shop and to Emerald City Comic Con. So, moving on, we do have more. We have uh, the 
Green Troll. The Green Troll is the latest, it's number seven, that's going to be coming out in the Good Luck Troll range. The Good Luck Troll range is it start coming in 2020, so if you want to get number seven, they are they are saying this is a limited edition. Um, so if you want to get your hands on number seven, I'm not missing number seven. This would be one to go for. You can see he has his iconic green hair. He has his iconic green gem in the center, and he does this. Looks like a very very happy troll. So I'm not really the type of person who would collect the kind of trolls. You know the the uh, good luck trolls. It's not my type of category of Funkos. Mine's all kind of animation and comics and all that. But definitely, I might be one to go for if you are in the lookout for that. So, moving on down, we do have more, and these are getting very, very interesting. So, this, um, so moving on, we do have a, a pop town. This one is very, very interesting for you dedicated Funko Pop collectors. This one is the Fi Freddy Funko with the Funko HQ. Um, so, as you can see there, the iconic Freddy Funko HQ, which I believe is in Hollywood. I think it's in Hollywood or it's in California. And there was one or two kind of um, Funko HQs. But I think this is the main Funko HQ, which if I do a quick search here, is in Washington. It's in Everett, Washington, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, so Everett, Washington in the United States. You do have the dedicated Freddy Funko as well with his crown hat and his two um, iconic Funko bags. So, if you're an if you are interested in Freddy Funko at all, or even in regards to the Pop Towns, and you want to get a new Pop Town, this one's coming out. As you can see, it's good. As I said, it is going to be exclusive to the Funko Shop. So, if you want to go and check it out for yourself. Maybe they might still have some down uh, after Emerald City is over, or when they come out. So it's best checking up on the pages and all, because this is going to be a... It's going to be a collectible for a good amount of people who are interested in the Pop Towns. So it's, um, but these are these are the interesting things. Recently I've decided to start bringing out Funko Sodas. And these Funko Sodas have a nice wee pop inside. So, you have... Um, three Funko Sudos which are going to be coming out. One of them is just a kind of recolor of one that's already been out. But these two new ones are going to be brand new. So, first of all, we're going to be having a look at uh, Scott Pilgrim. Freddy Funko Spock. Uh, Funko Soda figurine Scott Pilgrim. So, with each of these scans, you may have a chance of getting the... Standard organ the chase. So, um, each of these cans that are going to be coming here, just to let you know, is limited to four thousand pieces. So your standard chase is going to be your. It's going to be your lovely um, standard uh, Scott Pilgrim with his pink jumper. You have what looks like Mega Man. Is that Mega Man in the middle? No, Astro, Astro Boy. It looks like Astro Boy. Um, icon in the middle there. And it's nice, lovely uh, jeans. So, looking slightly confused in a way. And then, if you go on and have a look at uh, the Chase, which I'll pop up the Chase as well, you have his uh, green t shirt with a heart in the center with SP for Scott Pilgrim. So, not missing out on Scott Pilgrim, we also do have Ramona Flowers. Ramona Flowers is going to come in a standard and going to come in a chase alternative as well. So, the standard Ramona Flowers is going to have the iconic pink hair with the goggles, uh, the bag and, you know, the standard movie setup costume of what she was wearing with the brown jacket and the brown boots and, and all. When you get on to the chase, the chase version is going to be a slight alternative. She doesn't have her goggles, but she does have green hair. And it's a complete change to the jacket, with the jacket being grey and 
everything else in the costume being black. And then we also do have one more. And it is Huckleberry Hound. This is Huckleberry Hound in the green. I believe that they have um, brought out a original um, Huckleberry Hound in blue. And this one actually is going to be limited to 3,500. So I'm assuming 1,500 of these is going to be the chase when it comes to the... Um, when it comes to the Scott Pilgrim stuff, I think it, it might be a, 1100 as well, or 1500. So, there's, um, maybe with these ones, you may have a first. And there's not much detail on what the chase is actually going to be, the amounts for it, but um, you do not have the Huckleberry Hound in green with his uh yellow hat with the red band, and you have his uh red bow tie. You go into the chase version, the chase version is going to be exactly the same figurine, except it's going to be purple instead of green. Uh, me being stupid myself, I also forgot about the Pez, uh, Pez boy, the fireman. As you can see there, he is wearing his lovely fireman costume. Basic Pez guy, this is coming in number 91. Uh, so yeah, if you are interested in all of the Pez, um kind of characters then yeah pez boy fireman is coming out soon go down that is everything from the funko shop we only have a couple more shops to go so moving on down we do have gamestop gamestop only have one alternative and this one is an interesting one this is Thanos. Thanos with the removable arm so it does look like Thanos in the garden in a way Except with this one, it does look like you have the option of the removable arm. So I'm assuming this is the scene from Endgame where um, Doctor Strange cuts off uh, his hand with the portal. So it's um, either that or I, I believe it is a scene from Endgame where essentially his hand does get cut off. But as you can see, he is slightly nailed there. He has a lot of damage to the side of his face. He has the Infinity Gauntlet, uh, which is also detachable. So there's, um, I think I, I think this is actually the garden scene. Rather than the end scene, I think this is the garden scene, where essentially his hand is cut off before Thor kills him. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen the movie. But yeah, the detachable hand there does look like there's a lot of damage to the left hand side of his face because he is war torn so that's the only one coming from GameStop uh, you do have Hot Topic Hot Topic you're gonna have a number of exclusives these one are these ones are more movie based in a way so the two exclusives are coming from uh, Hot Topic you're gonna have Nymphador Tonks with her black costume and the pink hair and you're also gonna have uh Mulan one this one is a pop rides so the pop rides is gonna be Mushu Raiden Panda from uh the Mulan movie. I don't remember the scene but it seems that it it's good enough to make an actual kind of a uh, pop onto it. So that is everything from Hot Topic. We all we have is um, we got Target, we have Walgreens, and we have Walmart. Target are going to have a number, a number of exclusives. Uh, all of them, or two of them, are going to be well. You have one that's comic book based. You have one that's movie based, and then you have one which is NBA. So. The comic book based one is going to be Fantastic Four's Doctor Doom. And this Doctor Doom does look very good. It looks like it's kind of um, black and whitey in a way. So it's, um, except, you know, his, oh, maybe like a grey kind of one. So you can see his um, costume, whether that is the final process one, is going to be grey. You do have a lot of detail on the mask for his face and he does have his clutching hands like that. I'm going to get you a fantastic fall. So yeah, 
that is the uh, Fantastic Four exclusive to Target. We do have Boba Fett. So if you are a big fan of Star Wars, you can see that this is Boba Fett. And Boba Fett with a lot of tribal... Um, a lot of tribal detail on his mask. I don't remember ha Boba Fett having all this tri tribal um, detail on his mask. But I'm assuming this is kind of like a... Kind of like a... A homage to Boba Fett in a way. But yeah, he has a lot of the tribal markings on his mask. You can see he's carrying his black gun and everything else is blacked out. So that is definitely one for anyone who is a fan of Star Wars and the original movies because Boba Fett was, you know, he is the bounty hunter that everyone wants to love until he gets eaten by, um, a, he gets eaten in the second movie. The second movie or third movie? I think it's the second movie. If I'm wrong, down below, I do I, I do apologise for that. Then moving on to the last one, we do have an NBA. This one is uh, Pop Basketball with the Seattle Supersonics, uh, Sean Kemp. I'm not really a basketball fan, but if you are a basketball fan and an NBA, you have, an op you have a chance to get Sean Kemp. So Sean Kemp, as you can see, is wearing a Sonics outfit. He does have the basketball in his hand. And he looks very, very persuasive in the eyes. And what looks like it must be a small kind of beard. Like a goatee. Yeah, it looks like a kind of goatee on him. So that's the NBA. And that's everything from Target. We're going down to Walgreens. Walgreens have a very, very good one, which I may actually want to get myself. This one is Gambit. Gambit from X-Men. Um, the only option, that's the only one they're going to have for Walgreens. But as you can see, he does have his red eyes mask. He has his cane, or his, his kind of stick. So it's the only thing that would be a lot better if he had the cards. A bunch of cards in his hand. You know, because essentially his power is he can turn any uh, item that he's holding in his hand into kinetic. Using kinetic powers, he can make it um, essentially destruct, destructible and explosive. So that's his that's his superpower, kinetic. Um, yeah, kinetic explosive items. So if you're interested in that one. That is coming exclusively to Wal well, Walgreens in the US. And then going on to the last one, we have uh, Walmart. Walmart are getting the other Pokemon exclusive. So, as I said, we do have, up at the top, at the start, we did have Amazon, who has the Bulbasaur. And um, Walgreens, or sorry, not Walgreens, Walmart are getting the Flocked exclusive Charmander. So, as you can see, a lot of detail in his face. He does look very, very happy. And he does look very, very small in regards to that box. Whether that's the pro, uh, concept art for it or whether he's that small, that's a question. But he does look very, very happy. He has a nice bit of a fire in his tail and you can see a bit of kind of fabric pattern to make it a flocked um, pop. So, yeah. If you're interested in that one, and Pokemon, definitely one for Flock one. Then going on to the last one, we do have, in my opinion, and this is going to cause people to go off, the inferior office, the US office. So there's um, Dwight. Uh, shoot. How, do you, how do you say this? So you have Dwight. So I can't say his second name, I do apologise. But uh, Dwight Schrute. I think it's Dwight Schrute. As Recyclops. So as you can see. He is hold, he is holding a milk jug. With a bunch of flowers in there. You can see he has his, uh, his hippie bandana. With his third eye. And a uh, planet. Um, green planet t-shirt there. So 
and he has his glasses and all. So, I I, I never really watched the American Office. It wasn't really one that kind of picked me up. I like the UK Office a lot better, but that's just me being proud of my country. <laughs> so, that's all the exclusives that are coming to uh, the Comic Con up and coming, coming to Emerald City Comic Con. But, not to miss out, for the UK fans, UK fans are going to have certain exclusives when it comes to uh, items. So, you'll see at the start there, that, that there was a bunch of other stuff which um, was posted there, I haven't really talked about it. But uh, I'll try to get pictures for them and pop them up. So, for the uh, EU retailer list, uh, Tesco's in the UK and EMP in the EU are going to get Pop Heroes Santana. We also do, uh, for John John Lewis and EMP are going to have an in for the in for which is going to Hot Topic. As a hot topic exclusive, it's going to come out with the special edition sticker, more like. Uh, you have a Sp- a Spain uh, crazy t shirt, which is going to get the Floor Delacour in the blue outfit. The Fantastic Four Doctor Doom is going to go to Italy and Game Academy. A game Academy. So there's uh, the classic Gambit is going to go to the entertainer in the UK. So, if you have an entertainer near you after ECC, you might be able to find it at the entertainer. Uh, the UK Double Box Toys are going to get the triple pack of the Game of Thrones. So, Drogon, Rhaegal and Viserion in the egg are going to go to Double Box Toys. Um, for the Republic of Ireland, France, Italy... Norway and uh, yeah, so essentially a bunch of EU countries are going to get a gelatin's cube from D and D. That's all going to go to GameStop, the, your local GameStop in the Republic of Ireland. It's going to get the gel, the gelatin's cube from D and D Dungeons and Dragons. So the Disney Store, Disney Store got all Disney properties. So essentially, the Boba Fett. Or the future uh, Boba Fett is going to go to the Disney Store. Uh, Perfect Sale, Dragon Ball C is going to go to the EU EMP. Uh, Premark, Premark, which recently had the Game of Thrones ones, are going to get himself a Dragon Ball C. So this is going to be the Vegeta in Noodles, which recently came out. I will pop a picture. I, ho- I should ho- Everything I'm talking about here, so I'll have pictures at the side here. Um, so, pop in the box, unless you are, uh, never heard of him before, pop in the box, the mystery uh, box company that you can buy stuff on. We're going to get the uh, Sleeping Beauty triple pack of the Fairy Gold Mothers. So, for the UK and the EU, they're going to pop in the box. Uh, the Mushu on Panda is going to go to EMP Toys. So EMP Toys are getting a whole bunch of stuff. Starship Troopers. This is the one that I was talking about. Um, that is going to go to... As far as I'm aware, that was the one that was going to Entertainment Earth. That is also going to go to... Uh, Pop in the Box. So I should really hopefully have a picture of that if I don't you can always check the link in the description and check it out for yourself um but I really do hope that I will find it uh the oh yep I'll have a picture up for that so I'll, so I'll, I'll show you the concept art that's coming out for it uh, but essentially that is going to pop in the box so for Ben Planet we're going to get the Mutu Triclops so that's Pop TV. So the Mutu Tri Cops, as far as I'm aware, is going to be uh, one of the Pez dispensers. 
So the past dispenser is going to go to Forbidden Planet. It's also going to go for France and Belgium. It's going to go to Shop for Geeks. Yeah, and then a whole bunch more here. Game are getting exclusive. They're getting the Thanos with the detachable arm. That's going to Game in the UK. Uh, Spain's going to uh, get it um, to El Court uh, Inglés. And then the Republic of Ireland and all are going to get it in GameStop. It's going to be a GameStop exclusive. So the Heatman Slime. That is a, another Mewtwo one. Um, as far as I'm aware, is that going to be another pop dispenser, is it? No, I don't think it's going to be a pop dispenser. Uh, no, 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 it looks like it's actually going to be a, a pop. So there's, um, the He-Man slime. So essentially it's the He-Man, the green He-Man with, um, red eyes, which, uh, I will hopefully have a picture. If not, of course, it's up the top bar. That is going to be exclusive to uh, Double Box Toys in the UK. It's also in the Republic of Ireland and all. It's going to be exclusive to GameStop. Then we have one more, which is Dragon Ball C Piccolo. Uh, it's going to go to Pop in the Box in the UK. So essentially, that is everything. Um, I'm going to have fun now trying to record, trying to get all the pictures for all this stuff I've just talked about. I really did hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you want to check out more reviews, you'll see my videos down below there. Feel free to subscribe for when the latest videos come out. I'll also have links to everything I've talked about down below here. And yeah, catch you later, guys.